Welcome back to the Gardening with Joy and Holly radio show. Thank you for being with us today. Watering. We talked about it with the uh, mulch in the segment one there. But also, Holly, Tree Diaper makes it easy for you. Yeah, Tree Diaper is a revolutionary watering system that slowly releases water around the base of any tree or plant as the soil dries. The Tree Diaper is filled with water from rain when you water and slowly releases water over three weeks. No more overwatering or underwatering with the Tree Diaper. Every time it rains, Tree Diaper recharges. No pipes, hoses, or electricity needed. You can water your plants and trees whether they're down by the house, down the road, or in the back 40. Anywhere. Also, yeah, also works under mulch. Whether you're a first-time gardener or advanced, Tree Diaper will improve the way you water your plants. Made in the USA, you can find all the sizes they have available at TreeDiaper.com. All right. Well, let's get into this segment here, Holly. Uh, are eggshells really good for the garden, worth putting in the garden? You see this on social media from February until September. People with giant jars of eggshells that they've dried or crushed or or pulverized to a powder. And, you know, every time somebody puts a picture up of a blossom in rot, it's, oh, add add tums, add powdered milk, add eggshells to the hole at the time of planting for your tomatoes. And that will fix the problem. First of all, side note, blossom in rot is a lack of available calcium, not no calcium. You got to water the plants um, and that will greatly reduce the opportunity for blossom in rot to develop which is the blackening portions of the bottom of the fruit prior to harvest that's the side note but eggshells eggshells put eggshells in the garden it's the greatest thing in the world don't buy fertilizer just use eggshells well we got some information to share with you Yes, so eggshells actually do, um, they do contain calcium. That's not incorrect. But what happens is that um, the calcium doesn't necessarily release into your plants as readily as you think it does. Even as, even if you break them up, you know, pulverize them, that's is not going to be a true solution, especially if you're just taking, you know, maybe a week's worth of eggshells or something and doing that it does it would have to be a higher amount they can provide up to um there's about five percent of organic matter in those eggshells but that is part of that soft inner white skin not the shell itself right and if you just take the eggshell crush it in your hand throw it in the hole at the time of planting your tomatoes or eggplants or peppers how long does it take for that eggshell that you've crushed in your hand to break down to even a minute usable form holly that would be anywhere from one year to three years so the putting the eggshell at the whole the time of planting your tomatoes if you're planning to use that place in three years from now you might maybe see a little bit possible benefit from that eggshell in three years right and it's not going to again it's not going to increase the the calcium in your soil exponentially it's just adding organic material to the garden now we are by no means saying those of you who are cringing or yelling at your radio or podcast device uh, who have large quantities of eggshells that you're storing up to use in the garden don't throw them in the garbage it's still good to put them in the compost pile or in the garden we're not saying that what we're saying is the myths that oh this is the fix all the end all use the eggshells and you'll never have a problem as it is betrayed in many social media posts is wrong right and that is something to keep in mind um there's a lot especially as there's um more and more social media more and more you know cute little fun videos mr and mrs know-it-alls mr and mrs know-it-alls which are, we which we do not claim to do that we no. do not claim to know everything we and were bringing you information so you were aware of what you may not know and when we make mistakes when we're wrong we do we do own up to that so um so yeah so you have a lot of access to information whether it's good information or bad information is is what is important so you want to always kind of look into these things you can if you don't know a good resource you can try your university extension um they will be able to provide you with information and you want to keep that in mind just because you know you're watching scrolling through your social media and a cute little video pops up and it says the eggshells are the the key to save your garden completely and just put all the eggshells in your soil and you won't have any garden problems again it's not always true 
And as we learned from our guest last week, Teresa Rooney, people will say, well, put the eggshells around, crumple them up, and put them around your tomatoes or your peppers, your eggplants, because this, if, to protect them from the slugs. As Teresa stated last week, slugs and snails have a tremendous amount of I'm going to slime that comes out of them that oozes out to allow them to um, be mobile across any surface. They, they immerse so much of that slime. Eggshells doesn't bother either one of them. They just slide right over top of them. Now, you might say, well, it worked for me. Well, that's great. I'm just telling you from her and then from what information we have now found on that doesn't it works it doesn't it works uh, i guess it doesn't work more than it works is what i'm saying because the slugs are figuring out ways in order to get to where they need to go the snails the same thing a few eggshells around the base of a plant unless it's mounded up inches they're gonna just glide right over top of it right and a lot of times when people have problems with slugs they they typically could just find the slugs and get rid of them or put them in the driveway or something and the birds will come and get them. It's not, it's not usually a large problem of tons of slugs. No, but there is, there are times in which that does occur. And then there are particular products that one can use in order to get everything back into check. Right. And so the, the eggshell, you know, uh, we hate to burst your bubble on this, um, because we are going to get feedback on this about how it worked great for me and it, I've done it for 37 years and my grandparents have done it for 118 years and they've never had a bad guard. That's great, wonderful. We're just telling you what science has proven. We, we go to uh, one of the predominant MythBuster garden sites in North America where they do extensive tests and studies on multiple different topics in order to find out is these practices worth the effort because of a beneficial scientific backing or is it just a hit and miss and go um, take a chance what what is that website holly gardenmyths.com well, that's pretty easy to remember, gardenmyths.com. And it's not just the eggshells. They have dozens and dozens, if not hundreds, of studies in which they have done themselves. And this is a, a legitimate organ, a legitimate organization um, that helps us gardeners. Yeah, and I just want to mention they do talk quite a bit about Blossom Enrot, about how it is the lack of calcium being being accessed by the plants and that is the so if you even if you not in the soil right not in the soil so if even if you just add eggshells it's not necessarily going to help you it's watering to release that um calcium into the into the plant well another thing in which uh, you're going to be upset and disappointed in is if you didn't take care and prepare yourself as spring has sprung and summer is now here is those japanese beetles weevils and boars that are in your yard and ready for you to have that outdoor activity so they can invite themselves absolutely with spring you know right at spring here in summer and you want to uh keep that in in mind and what better way to prevent those pests from destroying your garden than by controlling them while they are larvae grub gone is an easy to apply granular product that can be spread on your turf to successfully control grub invaders developed by phylum bioproducts from a naturally occurring bacteria grub gone is a non-chemical bt product that specifically targets only scarab pests and is safe to use around bees and other beneficial insects so if you've got those japanese beetles already flying around your yard beetle gone is the answer it's an organic water dispersible powder that can be straight be sprayed directly on your edible plants right on them find out more about grub gone and beetle gone at phylum bioproducts.com that's p-h-y-l-l-o-m bioproducts.com and holly they have a coupon code for those who want to save a little bit of money whenever they purchase and that is garden talk 10 to save 10 percent off your orders at phylum bioproducts.com for more information, please visit the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com.